Priya, hi. Uh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. First of all, I'll just like to put some respect on the table, Shreyas. Um, I hold you in very high regard, and uh, thank you for so selfless, selflessly being sharing what you always do. Um, now my question is more about uh, psychology. Um, like all the other traders, I uh, had initially lost money. Um, over time, uh, in the past four months, I've been profitable. Uh, and the current setup that I use, I am very confident about it. But uh, the only question that comes to my mind, you know, my mind is that is the because I basically use a price action setup that is based on support and resistance. So what constantly there's a thought in my head is that is this the only way that I can make money, you know, in the entire life? So. From a uh, from a person who uh, has not learned from somebody, sir, uh, what would you suggest? Because this is a constant question. Okay, it's working now. What if it does not work for a year? So, as as a person who's been so experienced, uh, if you could just guide guide me in explaining that. Okay, there are some uh, measures that you need to learn. You maybe you need to learn this as well, or you know you need to have this in your setup as well. Because this is like just one. Um, you know, armor in my arsenal. So, I just wanted to know uh, your thought on this, and uh, how would you probably deal with my situation? Uh, like I said, currently I'm do doing good with the setup, but uh, then again, there's a question uh, in my mind that says that okay, uh, you know, can you can you do use this and generate money for the entire lifetime? Uh, so, so that is, and I have no one to ask this question to, which is why you know uh, I thought of asking this in this space. Uh, thanks a lot. This is my only question. Hi, Pranav. Thank you. So uh, here's the thing. I'll give you the answer to that. No setup will work in perpetuity. It's just not going to happen. Okay. Uh, what most people do, a lot of people do when they're had, excuse me, when they're handling large funds, is that they will diversify into multiple setups. Essentially, what is diversifying into multiple setups doing? Only smoothening the equity curve. The idea is always you want a smooth equity curve. So you might have a setup which is highly volatile versus a setup that is highly stable. And you're trying to find the in-between mark of having a smooth equity curve. You never diversify setups to increase uh, ROI. You always, anyone who's diversifying setups and having multiple setups, they're doing it with the idea that between all the setups, my overall account equity curve should be smooth. Now, this anxiety that you're having that my current way of trading, will it continue to make money over long term? Every trader has it. But the entire merit of a trader is as the market changes. Like if you were to compare, if I were to compare how I'm trading today to exactly one year back, it would be very different. If you compare that to one more year back, you will not even find head or tail of how is it the same thing. It is technically the same style of trading, but actually there's a lot that is different. So the entire merit of a trader is, and even somebody who's building systems is as market changes, how aptly, quickly are you able to adapt in order to maintain that smooth equity curve? Now, one straightforward question that many people ask me is, why don't you diversify your setup? The thing is, my equity curve is already very small. So I don't need further smoothness in my equity curve. And uh, my pro other problem with uh, trading uh, multiple setups is since I trade semi-automated, so I don't trade, I don't do any automation. There's no automation in my trading except for, for order execution. So when I'm using that, if I have multiple things going on, it distracts me. Yeah, there are some setups that uh, are like, you know, very high risk reward setups where you can put uh, potentially 5% of your account and they can generate upwards of 100% return and uh, you know sometimes even 200% return, but fairly large drawdown. That's why you allocate a small portion of your account. But if I were to sit and do that, I would get distracted. And I'll tell you one more thing. Even if it's fully automated and I'm seeing the mark to market on the same account screen as my proper trade, I will be distracted by it. So the reason I don't diversify setups is one, I don't need to smoothen my equity curve. Currently, with my current capital, my setup is able to handle it. The point where I will look to diversify is when my manual and semi-automated version of executing is not able to handle it. In a different account where I don't see the mark to market, where I can have somebody else monitor its uh, uh, functioning, I, I can run that. So there are two aspects around this. And I take it for granted that something that works will not continue to work in perpetuity.
it just doesn't work that way because it might work in a cycle, not work in the next cycle. Some work across cycles, uh, but for a certain period of time and then they don't work after that. Um, this is why, you know, when people put too much emphasis on backtesting, I really scratch my head to understand, boss, what are you studying 2018, 2019 uh, uh, data for understanding current market behavior? I think it's completely ludicrous. Uh, the, the, I mean, there has been such a long uh, large structural change in market movement, price movement, with the whole amount of algos that have come in now, that I think all of it is just dead weight. You're just making it look good on paper, saying that. And, and when people compare 2020, my God, with the entire volatility index crashed the entire year. Like COVID gave us, for short while people, post-COVID was just a year and a half of free money, right? And you're comparing all of that to what is happening now. And you're saying um, it's not working as per back test. So anyway, the idea being beyond the point, you have to diversify setups because your capital cannot be infused all into one, provided your existing setup is not giving you a smooth equity curve. The reason I don't have multiple is one, it will mess with my psychology. I don't want to diversify my attention span towards anything else. And two, as it is, my equity curve is smooth. So I don't feel the need to say that, okay, I, I, I need to have something to balance it. Like most days, like it is very rarely that I lose more than half a percent in a day. So that's an, it, my equity curve. Uh, it is fairly small. Right. Uh, yeah. So just one follow-up question uh, to this, um, Shiraz. So uh, I would just like to, you know, uh, bluntly ask you that, uh, okay, uh, in a month uh, where I know setups are not working, Maybe uh, five or six times in a month, I would get a trade and, you know, the trade would be good. I'm satisfied with it. But uh, most of the time, uh, how would you uh, deal with this? Would you want to learn something more or since, you know, you're in your zone, you know what you're doing. Uh, you just stick to that one setup and, uh, you know, just go for it. Even if it gives you uh, four or five trades a, a month, you're fine with it. I just wanted to know because... Uh, uh, like I said, sir, I'm really confident with what I'm doing right now. And uh, I just want to know that, you know, is it the time to learn something new, go somewhere else, or just, you know, keep doing this for a year or two and then probably go ahead and learn something else? So Listen, just... you have to always be learning something new, whether you're executing it or not, whether you're trading it or not. You have to always be learning something new because even the existing system that you have, there might be some kind of tweak that you might have to do to it to stabilize it. And um, see, the thing is, even if you're doing the same thing again and again, it doesn't mean you're completely ignoring everything else that happened. So you're always learning and adapting. Look, the only job a trader has to do is learn and adapt. Right. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I if you, you know, really happy with your system, great. But Never shut off uh, everything else that's happening in the market. Like, for example, I don't trade bank nifty at all. I've not traded it in the past uh, two months plus, but I track bank nifty behavior every single day to see what, what is happening. You have to always know, uh, uh, you know, what is happening to see is there something there, you know? So, yeah. 